Now, when you lose the focus on visualization, you start to go back to this movement. You do it, but with a sensation like relaxation, feel your back muscle relax. You will feel it, it's very smooth, like very relaxed. You don't need much of the muscles to do the movement. I'll try to, to push your feet just when you are at the top of this working. Here, you can push. Otherwise, you, you start doing like this and you lose momentum. Here and then you can push. You want a, a tripod, like your shoulder and your head. This is your tripod. You want to, to lie on, on this tripod to push. Make sense? Good. Erin, Erin, when, when you go down, don't try to hook your, your legs. Just with your hips, you fall your hips and your back. But don't hook with your legs. That's good. Okay, so now you lie down on your back <clears throat> and I want you, I will show you the movement I want you to, to visualize. It's like, so you, you lay flat and the more and more, at the beginning you start to bring, to tuck your, your hips forward. And by doing it, you will uh, tense up your abs, it's okay, but it will bring your Legs up, legs should be very heavy, very smooth, but only your hips is stuck in more and more and more and more. And you try to bring each vertebrae to work and to, to stack on themselves. Here. Until you can put your knees on the side of your ears, if you can do it. If not, it's okay to stay there, it's fine. And then I want you to imagine to go back to the initial position, but vertebrate by vertebrate, just by unfolding your hips and sacrum and everything. So just in your head for now. Make sense, Patrick? Oh. <laughs> Good. Just unmute yourself if you have question. Don't do anything for a moment. 
I'll just maybe try once just to have the movement in your head, but don't do anything in the way. And again, when you lose the focus on this image, you start to doing it physically. It's not an easy movement. If you do it very slowly and very carefully, you try to stack your vertebrae, it's very hard. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing is very important there. Because you compress your ribcage and you need to know if you are able to breathe in a position where you are compressed. Very good, Tom. Once in a while, you, you go uh, to a back hole. So with the same sensation, you, you want yourself to be a ball. So you go very compressed. Yeah. And you go back. Forward.
So now, just pay attention. Um, some of you, um, you are doing like like this, or be, because maybe it's painful, but try to to stay very straight. And pay attention when you go down. For example, Irene, I saw you like it's sometimes here it's good, and then we have no control here, so we drop it. Just when you feel you want to drop, just move a little bit right? like this, but try to control to remove the tension, the excess of tension. Just try it once or, two, or twice, but. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jay, you good? Very nice, good. Irene, try to bring your heels um, closer from your your thigh when you go down here, because here you have a lot of pressure and a big leverage. Here, it's more controllable. Yeah. We'll do for some push-ups because it's Friday and I know Tom wants to do push-ups. <laughs> okay, so very simple drill. One arm like this, okay, forearm on the floor, inside, and the other arm, it's the other side, okay? And you, I want you to switch here and here. And I want you first to feel the movement, the, what the weight transfer works. And you have to twist it. It's not your, Eddie? It's not, it's not, um, it's not that I move my body, it's I screw and unscrew one, one arm and the other. And my body follow. I don't try to move my, my body, just my arm. So it's very small movement. Very nice cut. <laughs> and 
try to feel inside this movement, you should feel it from your arms to your feet. It's not just the arm who are moving, but you have to visualize like this movement. If you are familiar with the Feldenkrais method, it's like any movement from the finger has a repercussion on the feet. So it's the same thing. If you move like this, you have the repercussion at the bottom of your, your body. So I want you to feel it. Small movement from the arm going down to your feet. Now, if you are tired, you can lie down and think about the movement. Think about it. Make a picture of the movement inside the body, moving. Okay, now you will finish the movement. So here in the position, you move and you go on the side and you finish on your back. You come back. It's a good movement to learn or to the transition when you go when somebody push you, for example, and you fall hook, and you move to get away of a kick or something. <laughs> Oleg stay closer from the from the ground. But um, oh, so you, you plank or you don't plank? Yeah, you plank. Okay. And then you can go. But you plank without force. Should be very smooth. Like only your movement of your arm will bring the movement. That's it. Okay, very good. So now you lie down on your back and try to keep this position like this, like arm here. Yeah. And imagine yourself doing movement here and then I push and then I come back. But no force. You want the movement to be as clean as possible with no force. 
when you are in push-up position, at any moment, your muscles should be very relaxed. Any time, <laughs> relax. I try to relax every time. So here it's the same thing. It's very smooth, very lazy movement. You are lazy. In Sistema, we are lazy. <laughs> <laughs> or we try to be. <laughs> yeah, very nice hearing. That's it. Yes. I did very good too. Yeah, Ralph, it's good. When you go on your right side, it's good. When on the left, it's some. Yeah, that's it. Good. Yeah, J, it's good. Ah, it's good too. Patrick, it seems like you want to do a push up. Don't do a push up. Just screw. No, it, it just, uh, it's not that it's bad. It's like you stop at the bottom and when you turn your idea is you are already up so it's very easy okay <laughs> yeah okay now try this like for you're going to push a position but in your head, you are you are going from the bottom to the to the top. Okay, so you have all this distance to to make here, and then you want for the other one to think like you are already up and feel inside the body the difference because your mind is it's a trick. Like at first you think, oh, okay, I will have to do push up So I'm here and I have to push myself up. If I'm strong and I'm used to it, it's okay. But just like Manny said, like it's, you are on the ground and you want to see something up and you go, it's completely different. So now when you want to do push up, think you are already at the top of the push up, even if you are down. You will feel in the body, it's not the same. It's very relaxed. The back is not activate as it can be on a regular push-up. Try it. But be very focused on each muscle. Yeah. Try both, like you do a push-up, regular push-up, and then think you are already at the top of the push-up. Do you feel the difference or not? Yeah, it's good. So it's a different way to do physical exercise. When you know you have to do it maybe, I don't know, for an hour, because it can happen. I remember once Vladimir in a seminar, we did 
one hour push up, one hour uh, squats, and one hour leg raises or body raises. And you have to find ways to ease this exercise. This is one way to do it. It's not a promise that it will work for all the time, but <laughs> if it works for three minutes, it's a victory. <laughs> And you want to do it like everything you are doing, you want to do it like this. Like it's very easy, very peaceful. You don't force, you, it's very natural movement. Push up, it's a natural movement. I mean, it's not a physical movement, it's just natural. Yeah. Great. Okay, we'll go back on, the, on our back, just here. So we do the same. But then I want you to reach far as far as you can and then transition from there to the other side. As slow as you can and very like in your mind, like you are visualizing every movement, every transfer. But do the same, like. I do my movement here, so I'm in this position, but in my mind, I'm already there. My movement is finished. Okay. It's the same when you want to, um, for internal work in Sistema, when they want things, uh, Ryo Onishi, I don't know if you guys know him, but um, he told me like, when you touch the guy, the movement is already finished. Okay. Your movement is in between. When you touch, everything is finished already. But for most of us, when we touch, the movement begins, the action begins. But you, you, you are late if you do it. So you will have to use strength and everything. And if you use strength, you will tire. So you will lose your power. Make sense? So it's the same. You, you start a movement in your head, but it's already finished. When it starts f- physical, it's finished. So when you are here, if I want to reach, my movement is already finished. I don't, I don't have to force. Yeah. Try both ways to do it. Like you, you want to do something physical and you don't think you are in your movement. Or you, the movement is already finished. And in the head, it's completely different. And in the body, too. You are very light when you are doing it. Light in movement, but the body is heavy. Because everything in your body is at your disposal. It's your own weight. You own the movement. The movement doesn't own you, if that makes sense. (laughs) Okay, very nice. Just lie down, take your knife if you have one. So you put it in your pocket or at your belt or and you lie down, you just lie down. And I want you to visualize you are drawing the knife with no extra movement. So you have to be clear, like you can look, where is my knife, everything. Okay. Um, how will I get 
the knife or to the knife. Okay. What movement will I use to go and grab it? And then you can try maybe with a gross movement, like you know, it's very obvious. And but try to be very smooth, like you're on the ground. So you do both. You pick up your knife or you imagine you are picking up your, your knife and try to see which muscles, which part of the body activate before the movement. Yeah, Jay, it's good, but don't show your knife at the end. Just pick it up and that's it. Try to imagine, like picking a knife, it's like when you, you are in your shower and you wash yourself. You don't go like this to wash yourself. You go like this, like this. Okay, you are very close from your body. So when you pick up a knife, why are you doing like this? No, oh, you just stay close from your body and that's it. Knife is in my hand. You don't see the movement. Every time it's very close from, for me. Erin, did you miss something or it's good? It's just like you lay down on your back and you draw without showing it. Okay. No no big movement, no jerky movement. Or you can let the knife where it is and just imagining it.
Okay, great. Just put the knife away. We'll go back to the push-up position, but I will uh, try to explain to you what Konstantin Komarov, when I went to Russia in last November, um, he explained to us, like, um, you have to feel and to visualize inside your body um, the trajectory of the movement. Because the movement enters the body a certain way, and most of the time we put the movement away, but with a different path. And you have to, so for example, I twist my arm, the movement gives me some, some uh, trajectory inside the body, right? And I want it to go back the same way. That's what you see when Michael, somebody try to grab him. The movement enter, but he put the movement back the same way it enters the body. Make sense? Yeah, you, you have to feel it like it's like this. Yeah, just put your arms like this and twist it yourself. You, you will feel the trajectory of the movement inside. And bring back. Yeah, you feel every muscle like it start to, to tense up and go from, this is point A, this is point B, for example. And I go back from point B to point A, but the same way. Yeah, it's not very simple by video, but <laughs> next time I come to Toronto, I will show you. <laughs> and you can do the same with push-up, squats, everything. Like when you press the floor, the way I press the floor enters my body, right? So I want to go to put the pressure back to the ground. Yeah? And so I press, it centers my body, and I release it to the ground. That way I can push very wide. That's why Vladimir, a um, lot of you heard Vladimir say, push under your fist, push around your fist and push the planet or everything, the world. And that's it because pressure enters you inside yourself, but you release this pressure around, not in yourself. Human body can uh, take pressure and everything, but you don't keep it, never. It's like relaxation. You don't keep the relaxation, you give it. Can you feel it, Scott, or, yeah? Yeah, Oleg, your, your movement at the, when you, you, you twist here, you see under your armpit, that's the end of the movement. So you bring back from the end of the movement and slowly back to your fingers. Here, yeah. It's difficult by video, but next time. <laughs> okay, great. We're finished for today. I hope it wasn't too 
too difficult or too complicated? Okay, everyone. Oh yeah, no, thanks. Yeah. Great, thanks. Very good. good challenge. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Benoit. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Benoit. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Good weekend for me. Good thanks. Bye bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye Benoit. Thanks. Bye, Benoit. Thanks. Have a good weekend. Take care.